man, just the next man mentality. You know, the guys never really got down on themselves. And, you know, the next person to step up came in with a, with a lot of confidence and a lot of energy and a lot of self-belief because his teammates really, you know, supported him. So I'm glad that uh, so many guys got to contribute this season, and it really was a special season. That was Chris Fife's after last season's tough loss in the conference playoffs for the men's lacrosse team. And it is hard to believe, but spring sports at UVM right around the corner. Yeah, we're just a couple of days away from the first face off of the men's college lacrosse season. Now UVM has established itself as an America East power in recent years, but the Cats, they're going to have to answer a lot of questions this year. If they hope to be dancing in May. Vermont men's lacrosse team kicked off preseason practice on a bright and sunny day about three weeks ago. So, so excited. The weather today was incredible. The enthusiasm from the team was incredible. I don't think in my eight years here I've ever had a team this excited to be back together. And why wouldn't the Cats be excited? Vermont enters the season as three-time defending America East regular season champions. And two of those years, they finished the job by winning the conference tournament and advancing to NCAAs. We've built a great culture over the fall, and I think that culture is going to drive us to, to see how, how dominant we're going to be. But unfortunately for the Cats, they were unable to get back to the tournament in 2023. All but it came to town and absolutely smothered the Vermont offense in the America East semis, shutting the Cats out in the second half and route to a 10-4 win. The silver lining is that this year's group will not have to look hard for motivation. I've been thinking about that game every day since it happened. Walking off virtue for my senior year, I've, it just gut wrenching, and I just use that every day. Yeah, it's it's been in the biggest motivating factor. I think we've had our most challenging off season. We really challenged the guys with not only our practice time, but the training that we demanded out of them, and they answer the bell every single day. Head coach Chris Fives has built his program on defense. The Cats have ranked in the top 10 nationally in goals against average five times in his seven seasons in charge. But this year's Vermont group is going to have to count on Fogos, Poles, and goalies without a ton of experience. They came in hungry. They came ready to learn, and they've been really just Every day asking the right questions, doing the extra works, uh, watching film on their own, watching film as a team, watching film with Coach Fives. They're really just in the right mindset. It's great to see guys like George Egan, who is stepping into the goalie position his senior year, and um, you know Jack Fitch and Charlie Egan, and guys that have been more auxiliary roles that are going to need to step up big for us this year. Fortunately, the other side of the ball returns a lot of key pieces, including last year's leading scorer, Brock Haley. You know, the guys who are here right now are the guys who have been bought in for the past four or five years, and um, um, I think we got a great leadership core, um, not only in the upperclassmen, but just the whole team in general. The Cats certainly have a lot to figure out before the start of conference play in mid-March, but that's exactly why Fife's scheduled a grueling non-con slate with four straight Saturday road games to kick off the season. It's got to be a growth mindset, and win or lose, we've got to focus on learning from each game and building so that we can give ourselves the best chance to compete for a conference championship. And the best way to prepare yourself for teams that know you very well is to try to expose your flaws, ironing out these areas that we need to share up with a new team. And who better to do that than a team like Syracuse? All right, here's a look at those four road games to open the year. The only one of the four that hasn't been to the tournament the last two years, well, that would be the top 10 ranked blue blood, Syracuse. Cats will get them this Saturday before trips to BU, Manhattan, and Utah to close out the month of February.